Welcome, and thank you for joining me for another episode of The Wandering Watercolor. Today, we're going over the second page of the Everyday People Watercolor Coloring Book. And if you bought it from me, thank you so much for supporting me. I do make everything by hand. If you would like to get it, it's in the description of the video along with the palette. And if you just want to paint along with us and you haven't got it or, and you're not planning on getting it, just kind of pause the drawing and you can draw it out and then just paint along with us. So uh, let's start painting. So basically, this is the image that we will be going over today. It's not necessarily the second image in your book. I kind of switched them up depending on which image I want to be on the cover of each book. Um, I might stop doing that just <laughs> so that there's more continuity. But basically, this is it. And this is what the finished image will look like. Um, it's basically just two sisters. They both have red hair um, walking in the winter. And with that... Um, I have my little brush. This is the brush that I use. Um, whenever I'm not... Th this is just what I use in the palette that I make, which is this. Well, this isn't what it looks like when you buy it. But basically, these are all the colors, and it comes with a little brush in it. Um, and I have a little um, soap dish, porcelain soap dish here. This is where I mix all my colors. You can get it pretty much at... You can get this pretty much at any Walmart or Target or just look for it online if you want to or just use a regular porcelain dish at home uh, these they are completely non-toxic 100% washable they won't stain the uh, porcelain so you get to go there just have a piece of scrap paper and a rag and you're good to go so basically let's see it's gonna be pretty simple the first thing we will do is we will fill in the jeans for the girl on the right. We'll get some of the light blue. And then get some of the black here. And basically just lay it on in right there. And right here and right here. The reason I did that is because we'll actually go in with a little more blue and rinse off my brush and then just kind of like, while it's still wet, just kind of like spread it and kind of blend it in. There we go. Nice and quick. Maybe go over a little in the back. And I'm gonna rub off the color from my brush and then pick some of it off. You know how jeans have that kind of faded look usually and I'm gonna pick some of it up just to show kind of like a highlight and then down here and that's it that's it we're good on that her boots are brown we'll grab the brown here and we'll grab some of the green it's kind of a blue green here but we'll grab some of that so we can make it a little duller and we will cover the whole thing or the whole thing as in the entire boot for each leg and that's that we'll leave that to dry we'll rinse that off and then we'll come over here to this side so we're just going to grab some of the blue green and then mix it in with the color that we had for the jeans for the girl on the right get a little more maybe a little blue make it a little more on the blue side and okay a little more green the colors don't have to be perfectly exact as as these colors um the more important part is they you don't make it look too stiff like you can see i usually kind of like throw some splatters around I, I try not i'm not very worried about staying inside of the lines um what really does matter though is getting the lights and darks right and that's a little bit harder with watercolor but just take your time don't brush it um so we're gonna add a little more water here and basically we will just do well first let's see right here if we look at the jacket as an example right here is the darkest and here is probably the second darkest 
So the way we're going to do this is we're going to grab it and go right around the hair. It's okay if it gets a little bit in there. Like that. And right here. Like that. Might add a little bit right there. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some water. I'm not going to really rinse it off. I'm just going to grab water and then just kind of like pull it down. And so the the concentration stays where we put it initially, but we can still use that color to kind of spread it out. That actually helps a lot with um, getting the lights and the darks more accurate. And I'm going to rub off my brush and then I'm going to pick up some of it because I want it to stay a little lighter down here. I rinse off my brush again, dry it off, and then do the same thing again. I'm going to pick it up right there. And I'm going to do that right here as well. Um, for the record, if you're using a regular brush, you know, like like this brush, for example, these are the silver black velvet. I highly recommend them. It's such incredible value for a very reasonable price. Uh, if you use like a regular brush, this is a synthetic brush. It's not a, a squirrel hair brush or anything or a, or sable. This, this is a squirrel hair brush. This is a really nice brush, but... Um, these are harder to work with. I just like them because, well, for one, I sell them with my kits and then they're just very, uh, portable, great for sketching. Um, if you're using just a regular squirrel hairbrush, it's much easier to do the techniques where you're picking up, or it doesn't even have to be squirrel hair. It could just be synthetic, um, just for picking up the color and, uh, also the amount that the head of the brush holds in terms of water and pigment is much, uh, much, much easier to work with. Um, so I highly recommend you giving that a try, like one of those brushes, if you can. Okay, so these pants are pretty much completely dry. We will go ahead and grab some of the black over here. We'll mix it in with the brown and get a bunch of it. I'm going to have to switch out this little tray here soon. Okay. And the way that the dark areas on this jacket are, basically this back back sleeve is very dark. And then you right here and then also right here. So first we'll go right there, back sleeve, kind of cover a lot of that. And kind of on the inside as well. And same for right here. And get a little more. Same for right here, like that. And here. Okay, so that looks good. Also here a little bit, kind of like show the definition. Okay, then I'm just gonna grab water, not really rinsing off the brush. Just gonna bring in the color. And same right here. And this becomes a really nice and quick base wash for the for the jacket. Okay, I'm gonna rinse off my brush, dry it off, and then pick up the color here. Do that again, dry it off, pick it up, and do that right here for the sleeve. It doesn't have to be perfect because these are just the base layers and we will easily cover up any like mistakes or anything that we don't like when we add more values. But so far so good. Not bad for less than 10 minutes of painting so far. Okay, let's go over here on the pants for the girl on the left. They are pretty much burgundy colored, but it's kind of like a dark, uh, desaturated burgundy. So what we will do is to dull them down, we will bring some of this color right here. And that looks about right. It's nice and dark. And... It's still a little wet, but I have a slight slant on my desk, so it shouldn't go up into the jacket. 
when we start putting it down or it shouldn't do that too much anyway okay so we're gonna go right there and this leg I'm just gonna cover it entirely because it's it's in the background it's a it's a step back so it helps add um, that sense of space between the front leg and the back leg as she's walking forward okay I'm just gonna add some water not rinsing my brush just adding water to it and then just pulling it down and using that less pigmented um, tip of the brush to lay in the color okay so that's good so far next we as this part is drying this is also this is a little wet this is almost completely dried this is what well, we just wet that so um, next we will focus on the beanie of this girl on the right and it's basically just dark blue we got a little bit of dark blue and that's a little too blue we're gonna dull it down a little bit with the black that's better we're just gonna go right here a little line like that and right here just like that and then I rinse off my brush actually um, and dry it off a little bit a very little bit and just kind of pull in the color like that and same for right here there we go just gonna dry off the brush and pick up some of the color and that actually came out really nice as far as the gradation goes there's a little white spot there that's fine because it still helps show because the hat itself is kind of folded so it helps show that so that's fine so we have the hat drying the jacket is pretty much all no it's still drying uh, these pants are dried this jacket is still almost almost dried and these pants are drying so next thing to focus on is the the ground that they're walking in uh, or on I should say you, you don't want to leave the ground just blank because then they just look like a tattoo or just kind of like suspended in midair so the easiest thing to do would be just grab some brown maybe a little bit of the dark color here okay maybe a little more okay that looks fine and then so we're gonna do kind of like a sh uh, short strokes we're, we're trying to get the texture because with this paper and these brushes if you if you have less water and more pigment and just kind of like do quick strokes you get a bit of the texture in there which makes it more interesting like that so we're just gonna go like that that there we go and same for this one over here and we can connect them okay so I think that's looking pretty good um, I dropped a little drop right there I'm just gonna pick that up there we go okay so the next thing we will focus on is well we started off with these pants so we'll go back to these pants basically we have the color here for them well that, that's actually for the hat um, Let's see we'll grab a little bit of this and hmm you know what I'm, I'm gonna pick up a bunch of this color with my brush rinse it off and do that a couple of times and the reason for that is I'm diluting the color or the, I'm diluting the pigment picking up the pigment draw off my brush pick up the pigment okay I'm gonna get this lighter blue throw it in here because it'll change up the the look of of the blue so it's still a darker blue but okay I'm gonna get this dark color here and then throw that in that's closer to that looks more like the jeans that she's wearing so like again this is for the reference that's what it looks like and 
Oh, yep, there we go. We got a little bit of that in there. Not what I wanted. I'm just gonna pick that up. Let's see. You know, that actually looks all right. I like that color. I'm gonna add a little more dark here. And we're just gonna go straight in the back here, trying to create that sense of uh, distance from the front leg. And I know it looks very dark when I lay it down right now, but remember, it'll dry much, much lighter. Uh, I would actually prefer it if it stayed that dark, but that's okay. I'm going to add a little bit on the top here, under the jacket, and also a little bit down here, the bottom of the leg, and basically rinse off my brush, dry it off a little bit, and then just kind of go in the edge and blend it in with the with the rest of the pant leg and then do the same for the bottom and just kind of go like that there we go so that looks pretty good so far then we can go ahead and while that's drying right, let me do a little more right there just so that it dries a little more evenly on the gradation. Okay. I'm going to focus back in on this jacket on the left. I'm going to get the green, get a little bit of black. That's perfect. I like that deep contrast right there. So we'll go ahead and we'll put that right in right there. And I'm going to do a kind of like a thin line running down just to show kind of like, I guess, the little liner there for the, where it gets zipped up. And then do a little bit right there just to show the folds of the jacket. And also here for the pocket, some more of the folds. And... to separate the arm from the body. I'm going to go like that. A little more right there. And some more wrinkles here. Okay. A little outline. A little wrinkles. I'm going to rinse off my brush, dry it off, and then go right there. And just kind of bring that down. There we go. I like how that's looking so far. I'm gonna rinse off the brush and then dry it off. I'm I'm gonna go directly for the pigment here, so I'm not gonna dilute it with any more water. I'm just going directly for the pigment and laying it in back here. Since we already have that ready to go, we don't need to mix it. And just kind of laying it in. It doesn't have to be perfect. Actually, I prefer that it looks a little splattery and sketchy and not 100% organized. And a little bit of an outline there, like that. And Rinse off my brush, dry it off, and grab that color. And that faded really nicely, so I like that. Okay, and let's see here. Next, we'll work on the jacket for the girl on the right. We pretty much have that already here. We'll get a little more black so that we can, because we really want to um, emphasize the dark parts um, so we'll go ahead and we'll do that with a little right there on the side a little bit of an outline right there kind of show it where it cuts in and 
the outline or the wrinkle in the jacket and then make a little line here showing where it comes together and a little more a little more dark right here some of the wrinkles and down here also and then this uh, right hand I guess uh, since she's walking towards us is much much darker I guess it's kind of like backwards and uh, not backwards but in the back behind sort of behind the body a little more than this one so it's much darker so I'm gonna keep it like that I'm gonna draw off my brush and kind of go like that blend it and draw off the brush again and just grab it and there we go okay let me see if the pants here are pretty dry so I'm just gonna go ahead and put another layer just because I want more contrast and I'm gonna go right there like that looks good and a little more like that and down here dry my brush kind of pick up some of it so far so good okay 20 minutes so far not bad Let's see if we can get done in another 10 minutes I usually aim for these to be around 30 minutes but sometimes I ramble on and sometimes I just end up taking my sweet time <laughs> so um, let's see I'll grab a little more of this color so that we can finish this jacket and then clear up the space here on my mixing plate and basically just go ahead and add more outline it doesn't have to be perfect in fact um, I know I said it before, but it just it looks more interesting if you have some sketchiness to it, some looseness. Um, it's 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 always interesting. That's it seems like that's the difficult part to get a hold of is just making it loose and coherent. Um, at least to me, I know that that's some artists are really good at it. I have a friend here in in the city that's really good at it. He, he says he just kind of just goes with it, turns off his brain, and. Uh, which that can be a lot of fun. Um, definitely not for everything in life, but for art, it can be a lot of fun. Okay, so I like that a lot. Next, um, let me actually get kind of like try to finish off these boots here. Um, what we'll do is we'll go with these ones first, get a little bit brown, a little this dark color here, and a little more. And get a little green, blue green. The boots for this girl are darker and less, um, more desaturated, I guess, for the brown. Let's see how that looks. That looks good. Just throw it down. Just a base wash. Okay. And then for the other one. Get a little more, they're brighter, so we're gonna get a little more bright brown. And basically, I'm gonna get a little bit of this. Basically, the back one, we're just gonna kind of like cover it, and then the front one, give an outline here, here for where they're tying. And kind of just, yeah, something like that. And then when this dries, we'll go back in and create even more separation from the back one. Um, yeah. And now 
it would be as good a time as any to start working on the skin tones. Um, for that, I'm just going to clear up some space using my trusty rag. I'm going to dip it in the water here, make it a little easier to clean up the space. And yeah, I was worried that it, that would happen where they all kind of run in. That's okay. They're not difficult to mix. So we're just kind of clear that up. And rinse my brush. Dry it off. All right, time for the skin tones. Grab a little bit of burgundy. A little bit of this yellow orange. And some of the white here. And a little more of the white. So I think that looks okay. It's just that it's too heavily pigmented. So I just have to dilute it and get some water here. Like this, see, like with skin tones, you don't really need, like, you just need a little bit of pigment. You don't need a lot because you're, you're just trying to give a suggestion because the white behind the color does a lot of the work for you. I'm going to cut that off here so it doesn't bleed in. And basically just get some water. And, okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm basically just going to do a quick flat wash over the face of the girl. Just kind of all in there. And here. And see, that's too much too much pigment. I, I probably should have gone with less pigment. I'm going to pick that up and dry it off and then pick that up. And go a little lighter maybe here. On the hand, and the finger peeking out there. Okay, and then dry off my brush, and then go over, and then that's kind of what you're wanting to get at. Now it's much easier if you have like a a fine liner like this. That that makes it like ten times easier. But I just want to use this brush to show people that bought the palette from me that you can that you can do it with with this brush and you can just pick up some of that color no problem okay All right, so now that we have that, we're just gonna finish off these boots. Yeah, they're pretty much dry. So we're gonna get a little more, a little dark here of the dark brown from the boots. I'll put these ones more in a shadow. And put a little bit of shadow here on these ones. There we go. I actually don't need more than that. That's fine. And then I get a little bit of the brown, mix it in here. And then just put it over the one in the back here. There we go. See how it creates that separation? Much better. All right. Yeah, that's we're good on the boots there. And let's just uh, do the hair. Uh, get some of the red, get some of the brown, and kind of mix it in, and some of the orange. Yeah, the red hair is, hmm, that is definitely not it. <laughs> Let me clear that, I'm clear some space up here. Some of the orange, or the brown, I mean, get some of the brown. This brown is actually very, it's a very reddish brown. 
throw some red in there. Maybe pick some up here. Let's see how that looks on the scrap piece of paper. See, that, that looks kind of like red hair. So I'll just dip my brush in water and then, yeah, let's do, let's do just kind of like a faint wash. Just some water, just a very little bit, pick up a little pigment and just kind of throw that in there. And same for this side. I made this side much redder. Eh, maybe not. But I did kind of make it the hair look more like cloth as opposed to <laughs> actual hair but that's okay because when we put in the different uh, dark spots it'll help make it look better so I'm gonna pick up some of it okay no problem Oof, we're already at 30 minutes. We're running a little over, but that's okay. That's how art goes sometimes. And grab a little bit of the yellow here for the top and also for the scarf that she has. I'm actually gonna grab a little bit of the dark here, kinda just run it over. I don't want it to be too vibrant. There we go. Okay. Just got to give that a minute to... The hair has to dry before we go back in it. Otherwise, it won't... The marks won't make a difference. Um, but we can do one last... Um, round of this color. Darkening up this area right here. Basically, just going like that. A little outline there. I'm gonna dry my brush and then just kind of go like move upward. And dry my brush, move upward again. And just kind of like outline a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Let's see. So give it a moment. Actually, I, I really think this leg also needs to be darker. So go in here. I'm just gonna grab that and just go straight in. There we go. You don't have to cover the whole thing. It doesn't have to be completely. You just kind of use your judgment. Have fun with it. I always like look like seeing how artists make like different sh strokes with the brushes, just they don't even have to be exactly as it would look like in real life. But um, if you look at like some comic book artists, they're really good at just over exaggerating the brush strokes and the light and dark. And then it adds a lot of character. Okay, so we're good on that. That looks better. Okay, and the hair, we're just gonna grab just the hev heavy pigment. Well, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna dry my brush and then grab the heavy pigment here. And the idea is we're just gonna do some stripes. So just to kind of like show off where the Kind of like that. So we can show off 
where the shadows are, which makes the highlights in the hair stick out that much more. That one and that one. Okay. I'm just gonna give it a little more time to dry. And while that's happening, I'm just gonna go ahead and get a little more black, put it in here. I'm just gonna go really straight in the jacket, add a little more contrast. There, there, little line here, here, here in the back, in that hand, maybe a little outline down here, and it, it makes everything just pop a lot better. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna feel. Right here, just really, very softly. Okay, so then I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna completely dry off my brush and go straight for the for the black. I'm gonna do a couple of practice strokes here because this. Okay, that's pretty good, nice and thin. You just kind of use the edge. You can kind of, if the brush is dry and you pick up pigment, it'll make the the bristles of the brush stick to the point where you can kind of shape them. If you rotate the brush, you can kind of see it's like some, it's flat or thin and then just kind of like get thin, thin lines. Let me get some more. There we go. Okay. So this girl has very round glasses, kind of like Harry Potter's glasses. And the problem is I'm a, I'm kind of far away from the page itself because I don't want to get in the way of my camera. There we go. So, yeah. Um, so that's that. She's, like she's squinting a little bit and then maybe a dot here for the eye of the other one. There we go. Um, That looks fine. Um, yeah, if I had my fine liner, it would look better. But also, I, I can't like. Normally, I would like have my head like right here, but I don't want to block the whole thing. Um, and then maybe get a little darker. Um, let's see. Let's see, like kind of. Like, I want to get like a like a wash, like a faint wash here that we can use for the. Just to outline maybe like the the mouth, like where it, like the nose, and right here. Mm. Let me see if I can get a little closer. Yeah, I mean, that's that's fine. If you take your time with it, you can make it look even better. It's just that, like, <laughs> yeah, if I put my head, it would look something like this. Just 
you know, just so I can see the detail as I'm painting it, but, or really rather that my head would be exactly where the phone is or my camera. So, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to get in, in, in there like that, but if you take your time and just kind of uh, do that, then yeah, you shouldn't have any problem because you can get very fine lines with this brush. You just have to take your time. Uh, but that's pretty much it for that one. Um, it looks, I mean, I, I made their hair look a lot, um, yeah, I made their hair look a lot more red. It's actually, this one came out a lot brighter. I actually, I actually like the colors in this one better. It's just that the detail in this one is better because I used my, my fine liner. Um, and these are very cheap, by the way, if you just look them up, uh, the silver black velvet, you can get this, this three pack, I think it was something like... I want to say ten, fifteen dollars. It was very cheap, and they go on sale often. Um, it's, and they're good brushes. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for that one. So thank you for sticking with me, and hopefully, okay, what happened there? Hopefully that made sense. And oh my god, my stand here is being weird. Hopefully that made sense, and uh, I hope you liked it. I'm gonna post another one here, probably either later on today or tomorrow and i will see you next time